presentation setup, um, one of the key concerns is to replicate um, the patient setup that we establish at the time of simulation when we prepare the patient for its, his or her treatment course. And we have to replicate that once or many more times uh, during those actual treatments on the treatment machine. And being able to reposition the patient accurately, um, getting the target volume into the right location relative to the radiation beam is, is, is critical to the success and the safety of treatment delivery. One of the greatest challenges in our field uh, with respect to precision radiation therapy delivery is immobilization, the setup of the patient right before the treatment is being delivered. Um, we are using immobilization devices, we are using um, setup aids, um, then the patient is positioned on the treatment table, finds his or her right position on the treatment table. All of that takes time. In an ideal world, we would have a staging area, uh, a staging area outside the treatment vault, either in a simulation-like suite or in a setup suite, where a patient is positioned in, in the respective immobilization devices, brought into the right position for treatment, and then a package. A patient readily immobilized in the immobilization system is being transferred over to the treatment machine, and the treatment machine's time and, and schedule allocation is, is exclusively reserved to, to treatment delivery in itself. The Cephe product here is interesting in that it uses air cushion or an air bearing which allows an almost friction free transfer of the patient from one table to another. Being friction free small forces only need to be exerted to transfer the patient from one position to another and as such hopefully the risk of altering the patient setup is minimized. The strongest potential of the device is really setting up a patient outside and potentially using high-quality CT imaging to perform the actual image guidance. In cases uh, that are or in, in tumors that are located in the upper abdomen, all imaging tools that we are using today uh, in, in the so-called image guidance or IGRT process uh, come with a host of imaging artifacts that make it very difficult at times to establish an accurate target location utilizing the original simulation imaging modality, the CT scanner, again for image guidance, and then establishing an offset, which you have, would have to dial in, and then transferring that patient with a minimal risk of displacing the patient in the immobilization device and the tumor relative to markings on the immobilization device using a, an air-bearing Cephe device is, 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 is paramount. Having such capabilities is, is very exciting in our field because you, you can integrate imaging modalities that are not, uh, not available in the treatment room today into the workflow of the patient's treatment. You can minimize the time a patient spends in the treatment vault, which means you can use your resources smarter uh, and more efficient without sacrificing quality of the delivery. Utilizing a tool like the Sefer is, is, is that allows you to change workflows, uh, allows us to tailor our individual treatment workflow for, indiv for, for a patient. So it, this is all about the patient and the quality of care that we are providing for this one patient. And we can integrate imaging tools that otherwise are not readily available. We can disrupt a little bit the thought process of how does a patient flow through a radiation oncology department. And, uh, and we may be able to justify the acquisition of very expensive technology because now with an optimized workflow where you stage the patient outside the vault without losing any quality, in fact maybe even improving the image guidance quality, having a higher capacity in terms of usage of those rooms and, and being able to treat more patients with at least the same if not an improved uh, quality.